the the idea for it uh, really started with my fairly long-term relationship with Kevin Eubanks. We played together in the 1980s, late 1980s, and um, he's been living in Los Angeles for the last 18 years or more. And so I'm very busy with something else that he was involved with. So we hadn't been playing, unfortunately. And uh, something I always wanted to do more of again with Kevin. So when that uh, uh, commitment ended for him, um, we started talking about a project. So that was the beginnings of it. It was something that we could do together. And then I st was thinking about what kind of setting to have that happen in. And... Uh, well, I thought keyboard and drums would be nice, and immediately, of course, I thought of Craig Taborn, who is um, really a wonderful musician. I've had a chance to play with him, and also Eric Harland, the drummer, who's been involved in several projects with me as well, and um, two really creative players. And so that was the genesis of it. Um, I also wanted a band that didn't necessarily have any horns in it this time, because I've had a lot of bands with one or more you know, horn players in it. So I was looking for a different sound for the group anyway, and I thought this would work well for what we were trying to achieve. Well, it came about as an idea for a piece. I wanted to write a piece that would feature Kevin uh, and the way he plays. And I thought a lot about, um, you know, the, a, a blues type of piece for the guitar. But uh, I had a, a, a long marriage with a very wonderful lady from many years and she died a, a few years ago just prior to this band uh, being put together so um, the piece uh, kind of came out of uh, some feelings I had about that and uh, the empty chair sort of signifies that place at the table that she would normally be sitting so that was how that came about. When my children were small we used to go camping and I used to take the bass with me. I used to take the bass in most places when I'm going away and uh, you know we'd get to the campsite and we'd start unloading the tents and then the bass would come out and of course the other campers would be saying oh what's going on here but I'd love to go out into the woods and play and be around you know the resonance of the trees and stuff so outside is nice but um, uh, you know I have a room that I play in at home that I like to play in yeah. the natural acoustics are very nice yeah. well I live in the rural setting and I like that very much um, you know, I grew up uh, sort of in a suburban situation in England, uh, and then in cities, and then I moved to New York City. But as the family, as the children were getting bigger, we decided to move out of the New York City into the Mid-Hudson Valley, which is a beautiful area. It's near the Catskill Mountains. And, uh, you know, it's not just silence, it's the natural sounds that I like. Um, I have friends that live in the city that can't sleep unless they hear police sirens and stuff, but for me, I, I love to hear the birds in the morning and I like to, you know, get with the rhythm of the day. And so for me, it suits, suits how I like to live. It's really a great festival. You know, I've had many, you know, visits here over the years and enjoyed all of them. Um, I've had the opportunity to be here with some of my own projects and also, you know, with other people. Um, Co-led groups and things like that. And uh, the audience, you know, really knows the music. I mean, they're, they're very uh, educated in listening and uh, I feel that, you know, always make a very good connection with the audience because of that. They give you very strong intention and uh, attention. Um, uh, at the concert so that I think helps the focus of the whole thing you know it's great and uh, it's very well run too which is always a pleasure you know um, unfortunately that's not always the case um, obviously people try to do their best but this is such a very professionally run festival so it makes everything very easy we had a sound check this, this afternoon we came straight from the airport and did a sound check around noon and uh, it went so quickly and the crew were so, um, you know, quick in getting everything up and running. So that makes it easier for us when we're not struggling against some, uh, some odds.